it was like, oh, I'll be cheering for you, I'll be praying for you, I'll be supporting. So I know, you know, the whole nation is behind us and, you know, with their support, I think we'll be able to do, you know, just what we need to do when we get there. Yeah. Well, it was, was moments like this, achievements like this in terms of qualifying, is that part of why you came to Georgia? I mean, yeah, you can look around here at like all these displays. And, yeah, Georgia produces a lot of Olympians and yeah. especially in track and swimming. Georgia has, you know, not just the academic background, like they're really good academic, but you know, in the sporting career aspect, um, they have like really good coaches. Um, my teammates, you know, they're really supportive. You know, everybody cheers, everybody on. Even at practice, you could think it's like a competition to so everybody, you know, supports and encourage everybody. So I think, you know, just, you know, the academic and the sports and move balances out. So I think it was a great place to be. Yeah. How old were you? How long ago did you sort of realize, okay, this is beyond just a dream and is actually, you can make this happen? Yeah. Um, the thing is, when I just started, you know, I, I had no idea you know, sports would have taken me this far, you know, just running around, jumping, just having fun. But um, when I broke the St. Lucian's national record, I was only 14. Mm -hmm. um, and I have it still, and I'm now... 32 so it's been a long time but you know just breaking the national record it's like okay that's something you know you could take up as a career and since then you know I've been doing really well you know representing St. Lucia all over the world you know putting them on the map you know a lot of people don't know St. Lucia they don't know where St. Lucia is but I'm happy you know to travel the world so that people could at, at least see and hear about St. Lucia so yeah just it's, 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 it's a great feeling you know so, yeah. So you're not just running, you're also educating people. Where yeah, you're I'm being like the tourism aspect of it today. I was going to say, you're yeah. kind of like an ambassador a little yeah. bit. I mean, because you're, you're yeah. spreading the word far and wide. Yeah, people probably say, oh, you're from Africa, or where is St. Lucia? So, it's, you know, it's good to know that you could at least educate them about St. Lucia as well. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Speaking of uh, St. Lucia's geography, describe for our viewers where in the Caribbean it lies. St. Lucia is um, 14 degrees north and 61 degrees west on the map. It's between Martinique and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. They might again ask where is that, but <laughs> 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 pretty much in the Caribbean, you know, there's a whole chain of islands and we sit right in between Martinique and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I know that you've, you've answered this several times, but I just got here, so I'm going to make you do it again. Yeah. Tell us what it's like to uh, represent yeah, your country in the Olympics. Yeah, um, like I said earlier, you know, it's always a great feeling just to qualify for the Olympics. Um, it's really tough to make the standard. There are many people, you know, who wish they could have made it to the Olympics. Um, this time around, it's my third time. And like I said, the main difference is this time, you know, I have a new coach we've been working on. Um, things, you know, I haven't done before and this year has been like a great year. I've been really consistent um, in the high 90s where I really need to be. So come this year, this Olympics, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, first of all, making the finals and then get when I get into the finals, you know, anything could happen. So I will definitely challenge for a medal there. Thank you so much. Thank you.